Earthlings, I'm Therese. Are you having trouble acting as if your manifestation is already here? Do you feel like you're pretending, like you're faking it, like you're forcing it? And would you just love it to be easier to act as if? I have a magical three-step formula that takes away all that pretending and all that fake it till you make it stuff. And what's so great about it is it's actually effortless. So if that sounds good to you, keep on watching and you'll know how to do it too. I want to issue the warning. This is how I act as if. I don't know how other people act as if. And the first step is going to tell you how to act as if without pretending. But it's not gonna make your manifestation materialize, which is the whole freaking point. You need the other two steps for that. So to string it all together, you're gonna to need to watch all the way to the end of the video. The first step is to realize that everything is created as a thought. Take a look around you, take inventory of everything that you see and everything that you see was first formed as a thought. That is the magic of human consciousness. We are the only species on the entire planet that has this superpower. For example, this pillow, before it was sewn and sent to stores, it was first created in somebody's mind. They picked the color, they said, I want it to have white piping. They picked the shape, they picked the size, they picked how fluffy and poofy they want it to be. Do you see how many details they thought of? And once they thought of that pillow in their mind, it was created. It was not materialized, which of course we want our manifestations to be, but it was created. They did not have to pretend that it wasn't created. And this idea that a thought is a thing, something that has been created, for me takes away all the pretending. So if that's still kind of fuzzy wuzzy, let's think of something else, like my husband. When I was manifesting my husband, was he already created before I manifested him? Yes, he was born like 30 some years before I met him. So he was actively walking his little body around in the world. And what we think of as creation is really just vibration. We think of creating things, but it's really matching your vibration to order up the thing that you want. So with that husband of mine, I was getting very specific, just like the pillow, what I wanted in my ideal husband. Physical and esoteric qualities. This allowed me to tune my vibration to attract him because he was already there. He was already created. I didn't have to pretend. So you can think of it as one of two ways. You can think of it is I'm gonna create like the pillow in my mind or really what I'm doing is I'm just getting so specific that I'm tuning my vibration to attract whatever I want. The very first part to making acting as if effortless is to understand all is created. It's already created. It just hasn't materialized. That's what makes acting as if so dang hard is when we lack the confidence to know that it truly exists. So if you can absorb this into the core of your being as a true essential knowing, that once it is created in your mind, specifically with living color detail, like my list for my husband might have had like 20 things on it. Or when you're even manufacturing something as small as a pillow, there are intricate details about every little part of it that's necessary. But once that thinking part is done, that thought has become a thing and it's created. Now, let's make it materialize. Step one and a half is totally sprinkling some love on that like button. Just joking, but the more love you put out, the more you get back, and it really helps me, so thank you. Which brings us to step two, activating the law of attraction to make your manifestation materialize at universal speeds. And for this, we have to travel from the head or the mind where it was created down to the superpower of the heart. All energy that you see in the entire universe is made up of vibration. And your heart's electromagnetic field is a whole bunch stronger than your mind. It puts out a much stronger signal. So why would you not use it to get what you want? And the way you do that is through visualization. And visualization is just a fancy word for daydreaming. 
So like my husband, after I pictured him and clearly could see him in my mind, it was easy to conjure up activities to do with him or snuggling or watching movies at night. And it was a pleasure. This is a big point. This should not feel like a homework assignment or work or like, I have to sit down and visualize. No, it should really just flow effortlessly because you're daydreaming about your desire. And this activates that electromagnetic field of the heart. Now, some people are like, I don't know how to visualize trees. It doesn't have to just be through seeing things. Use all of your senses. For example, let's take the husband. If I'm manifesting him and I want to visualize something, I might put on a song that reminds me of love or light some candles to create some romance. Do you see all these things are helping me see it more clearly? Even if visualization isn't your thing, you can get all the senses into the mix. And it really comes from that feeling state, activating the feelings that you will feel when you're holding your manifestation in your hand. For example, if you're manifesting a dream job, yes, you'll be excited initially to get it, but what does it feel like to be there? Because that excitement is gonna wear away. You might be doing something that you really enjoy and you find that the time passes so fast you wish it would have lasted longer. Or you're having just such inspiring, fulfilling conversations with your coworkers, you feel like a kid again. These are the feelings, not just the general excitement of getting it. That's just essentially the one second millisecond part of the manifestation. And that's not really why you want it. You want it for all the other things. And it cannot be understated how this is going to bring all your manifestations to you effortlessly, literally effortlessly. If you are working hard, like super hard, and you feel like you're grind, grind, grinding, Guys, you're working too hard. You might get it that way, but it is so much easier the universe way. And I'm gonna show you that in this next step. Which brings us to step three, taking inspired action. Now, what do I mean by this? You see, when you're daydreaming and visualizing, all of a sudden you're going to feel inspired to do things. Now I'm gonna tell you a little story. First with inspired action, and then rewind it and show you with forced action. You tell me which one you think is more powerful. For example, when I was manifesting that husband and I was daydreaming on my bed, I was like, oh, you know, there's no two side tables for him. And wouldn't it be nice to have some nice candles next to the bed for a little bit of mood lighting? And so I zipped out and got those. And then I was in the living room and I'm like, oh, this place looks a little dingy. Maybe we could get a fresh coat of paint. And as I was painting the walls, my roommate said, hey, Trice, what's got you all inspired? And I said, I'm manifesting my husband, to which she happily giggled. Maybe six weeks passed, I don't exactly remember. But she said, Trice, you know that husband that you're manifesting? There is a party downtown in the meatpacking district, and there's gonna be guys there. The invitation says, dress to impress, wanna come? And the truth is, I did not want to come. It was cold out and I was like, we're just going to go there and have a gab fest with each other. So I said, okay, if we go <laughs> and we make a rule that after every 20 minutes, we'll talk to another group of guys. So we're not just hanging out with each other the whole night. I'll go. Went down there. I saw my handsome husband standing across the room at the end of the night. And I said, baby, there's our nightcap. Three months later, he proposed. Do you see how I could have never made that happen? I could have never made that lineup. That's inspired action. Instead of, let's rewind that same scenario and be like, okay, I am manifesting a husband and I think I'm gonna go to, um, I'm gonna do some online dating and what other strategies can I do? Of course, if you're inspired to open an online pro profile, that's totally different. The universe will lead you in the right way as opposed to our educated mind, which thinks that there is a right way to do things. The universe is pulling you to that vibration. 
and it will know the fastest way. It knew that the fastest way happened to be my roommate who was not like this big boy fiend. She like never ever dated. So you would think it would be the least likely place ever to find a husband from. But alas, the universe knew. Steve Jobs really said it best. You can't line the dots going forward. It's only back that you can line them up. He dropped out of college and went and took calligraphy classes, calligraphy classes. And he says that these classes are what made him think of having the really nice fonts on MacBook. That never existed. IBM never did it until he did it. And it was because he took this random calligraphy class in college. But did you notice how I didn't want to go out on that rainy night, but my manifestation was calling me? When you want something, you have to go. What do you think? Does that make it easier to act as if? If you have questions, leave them in the comments below. And if you like the vibe, subscribe. Until next time, my darling Earthling, ciao!